Welcome to Hardcraft Stadium, birthplace of the Micro Hard Mutilators. Today's game brought to you by Micro Hard Crash and Burn Technologies. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team storm the field. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Fricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oppa! Uh-huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. The burn returner was made by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Nice one. Second down in a lot. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, three. First and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic. And the quarterback says, I don't think so, and runs out of bounds, leaving the defense in the dust. Yeah. Nice try, fellas, but no cigar. Thank you, Mr. Guys. I've got to go to the can. And 
and it's first and ten. game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, Full man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Another hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Away from Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Second down and seven. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Must be their lucky day. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. 
crushed! Second down and seven. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! Sam, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates him. And it's first and ten. Uh, you know, this berserk dirty trick ain't there. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was he can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Second down and long. And like a monkey trying to... That run is good for nine yards. Third down and six. And that's another turnover for the defense. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Brim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, 
with the brain scrambler. Second down and six. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. Ninja, a little on the nose, don't you think? And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. First and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the game. The QB evades an onslaught of defenders and lives to die another day. First down in inches. First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleety. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down in a mile. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well played. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. just starting to pick up some speed. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Do us something we don't know, genius. Second down and six. 
Nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? How, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Is that a bad guy brain gets And like bricks and balls, he is loose and headed for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the Zuckman. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And we're at the two-minute warning. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Hot. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Hey, you see that little baby? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. 
And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the, and he's off to the races. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Hey, what? Come on, man. You can't hit with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turn on the Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he held on to that one for a first down. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. You can't keep a good mute. And that is caught for a first down. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen in a way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. Yeah, hey, man, you know, you know now. You know what have. <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! The offense lost 
to know their quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expense of that is. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, nope. Grim. That's an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and five. Ah, another interception. Easy, give it. Boom! And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. First and four. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and two. Hot one, hot two. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All we need is 77 to fight it. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. That's some seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? Just stick it in a plastic bag. Say the alphabet. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and... It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Can somebody say cocaine? And it's 
First and ten. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback could be hurting or dead. <laughs> Second down and long. I don't know whose eyes the QB is. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that. Too fast. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Oh my God! He's not just burning down the house; he's taking it to the house. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's at the ten. He scores. You know, Bricks, we might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze. This guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain, but man, he is programmed to get down and get funky. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Yeah. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Yo, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Second down and a lot. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Third down and forever. Another pick. Man, this. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. She's the Mary Margaret of our ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. They could not connect on that play. Third and two. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. It's good.
Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defense. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the deep. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after. The oh my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. First and ten. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Does the QB know? Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. He could go all the way. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone! Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> the offense 
Hurts is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. It helps. Believe me, Graham. It helps. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. It shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Hitch going to shave a few days off his life. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And then Katz will give them a first down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And it's first and ten. free and has open field in front of him. The 10. They might catch him. Move you fat little Newton. Well, I can't tell if this is a seizure or a celebration. Either way, <laughs> the fans are loving it. Yeah, with my trade pies, I'm going to put this guy out of his pocket. Just one. Just get some fun on your skin. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Well, that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And it's first and ten. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. And he's off to the races. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And 
It's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. He can go all the way. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. At this point, with multiple interceptions, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be... Th hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. And the defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the end of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing, scoring machine. What a story. What a, what a wonderful story. <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sit. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. You usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount that quarterback tips on dinner. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Nicely done for a first down. Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Uh, don't worry, that's coming. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Ah, another interception. 
is you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. He's running out of gas now. The 30. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And the two-minute warning sound. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And the offense lost another receiver on that play, and only two remain on the roster. When a team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Second, the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant, relentless advantage? At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body... Oh, and he just exploded like Humpty Dumpty. What a mess. Tell me about it. Looks like Humpty Dumpty, the little Dumpty Dumpty in his pants when he got hit. <laughs> the micro-hard mutilators win the game today. It was total and complete and utter domination. And speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Oh, I'd let her walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...